Hello, everyone. I'm Xiang Yuliu from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Our paper's topic is to pass authenticated key exchange with explicit authentication and tight security. Well, let's start from authenticated key exchange, or AKE for short. AKE is the most widely applied technique in public key cryptography. It's the first step for two parties to achieve secure communication in the network. Usually, AKE is an interactive protocol between two parties, PI and PJ. After several rounds of interactions, they can share the session keys, KI and KJ respectively, which are used to encrypt payload messages in the next communication. Here, we call one message sent from one to the other a path. AKE is required to have correctness and security. Correctness guarantees that PI and PJ share the same session key after a complete execution, namely KI equals KG. Security involves indistinguishability and authentication. Indistinguishability requires that the session key is pseudorandom. Authentication can be categorized into two types, explicit authentication and implicit authentication. We mainly focus on explicit authentication in this paper. It asks the AKE protocol to detect active attacks during the execution. Usually, in proof of security, we construct a cryptographic scheme based on a hard problem. Once there exists an adversary A that successfully attacks the scheme with probability epsilon, we can construct another algorithm B that use A's ability to solve the problem with successful probability epsilon prime. Here, B and A have roughly the same running time. Since we assume that the problem is hard, namely, there is no efficient algorithm to solve it. Hence, such adversary A does not exist. We define L equals epsilon over epsilon prime, the security loss factor in the reduction. If L is a constant, then the reduction is a tight. A scheme with tight security has smaller elements and universal key length recommendations. That's why many cryptographic schemes pursued tight security recently. Usually, AKE is deployed in the multi-user and multi-channel setting. That is, there are new users and each user involves L app protocol instance as most. We said the adversary wins if it successfully attacks one target instance among all mu L instance. Many AK schemes have a low have a loose security, namely a loss factor at least O mu L. In practice, mu L can be as large as 2230 to 2250. As mentioned above, High security enjoys its own advantages. Therefore, it's important to pursue the tight security of AKE. Up to now, there are several research considering tight security of AKE. Better proposed the first tightly secure three-path AKE scheme in the standard model. Later, Justin and Jagger proposed another three-path scheme with the tight security in the random oracle model. Both these schemes consider explicit authentication. As for implicit authentication, there are two research for two pass protocols in the random oracle model. Though this scheme can be extended to provide explicit authentication by the key confirmation method, but an extra pass is needed. Explicit authentication joins its own advantages. Once their authentication fails, the protocol execution stops and no subsequent message follows anymore, avoiding unnecessary computation and communication. Therefore, the natural question is, can we construct two paths AKE scheme with explicit authentication and tight security? Let's see why tight security for AKE is hard to achieve. We reveal the security model by jokes but <coughs> we reveal the security model by Justin and Jager. 
The security model, the security is formalized by an experiment between a challenge C and an adversary A. C holds mu L or equals pi 1 1 to pi mu L. Oracle pi is formalized user P is execution of this S protocol instance. The challenger C simulates the communication of two oracles by A send queries. We send queries. I can send an arbitrary message to any Oracle Pi IS, and Pi IS will execute will execute the AKE protocol according to the protocol specification. With corrupt queries, I can corrupt a party PI and get its long-term secret key. With registered corrupt queries, I can register a new party without public key certification. With review queries. I can observe session keys for a completed protocol instance. The security of indistinguishability is described with the help of the test queries. For query test IS, the challenger samples a random bit BIS and returns the session key key IS if BIS is equal to 1 and the random key otherwise. At last, A outputs B prime. The guess of B I star and the guess of B I star S star for the target session pi I S I star S star of its choice. If B prime equals B I star S star, we say that it wins. The AKE scheme is ND secure if it can please win the experiment with only a half problem probability roughly. Well, a natural idea for AK is a well-known signed D different Hermann protocol, as shown in this figure. Party PI sends G to A and its signature sigma 1 in the first pass. And then, part PJ responds with G to B and the signature sigma 2. If the verification of signature is passed, then both PI and PJ can compute the session key G to, X, G to AB. However, it's hard for the signed DH protocol to achieve tight security due to the following commitment problem. Let's consider a reduction algorithm B and a specific session IAS. B receives a DDH challenge problem G2X, G2Y, G and G2Z. If the problem is embedded into session IAS, then it cannot be revealed. And if not, then B cannot complete the reduction if A chooses I star S as its target. Therefore, B needs to guess the target session from total mu L sessions and embed the DDH problem into it, resulting in a loose security loss at least O mu L. To deal with the commitment problem, Justin and Jagger added an extra hash commitment as the first message, resulting in a three-pass protocol with high security in the random oracle model. Consider the following DH like cam. The public key is G2A, the ciphertext is G2B, and the encapsulated key is G2AB. It's easy to observe that signed DH protocol is actually a cam and seek construction. Therefore, to achieve tight security for AKE, we need to solve the commitment problem in CAM. More precisely, the underlying CAM requires not only that the encapsulated key in the key challenge ciphertext are pseudorandom, but also that the challenge ciphertext can be revealed to the adversary to get the encapsulated key. To solve the commitment problem, we define a new security notion for CAM. IND MCPA security with adaptive, array, with adap adaptive reviews. This figure shows the experiment of IND MCPA review security. In the beginning, the adversary A receives new public keys. It's allowed to ask two queries. With CAP queries, A receives a challenge ciphertext C. Along with, neither, uh, along with either an uh, encapsulated key, k0, or a random key, k1. Here, each encap query is answered with an independent and random bit beta. 
With review queries, it can get the encapsulated key for arbitrary ciphertext C prime. Even C prime is the challenge ciphertext outputted by the encap query. Therefore, the review query is different from the decapsulation query. The ND MCPA review security as the pseudonymous of un of unreviewed keys. Formally, suppose that I finally out suppose that I finally outputs a guess beta prime for target ciphertext, I star C star. And we define that A wins if beta prime equals beta and A has not reviewed I star C star. The cam the CAM scheme is said to be ND MCP review secure if they can win the experiment only with a high probability, roughly. To deal with, to deal with corrupt queries in AKE, the underlying signature scheme is required to be MUUFCMA corrupt secure. The security experiment is shown in this figure. First, the adversary A receives mu verification keys from the challenger. Then it's allowed to ask two queries. With sign queries, I can get a signature sigma for message F under user I. With corrupt queries, I can get the signing key SKI. A wins if it finally outputs a valid forge for new message M star under some uncorrupted user I star. We said that the SIG scheme is MUUFCMA security against adaptive corruptions. If A wins with a negligible probability. Our generic construction of two paths AKE use CAM and SIG as building blocks. We prove that the security of AKE can be tightly reduced to the IMD MCPA review security of CAM and the MUUFCMA corrupt security of SIG. More precisely, with a tightly IMD MCPA review secure CAM, the commitment problem is solved. Since all challenge ciphertexts can be I can be either served as a final target of A or revealed to A. Meanwhile, with a tightly MUUF CMA corrupt secure C, it can also handle the corruption queries from the adversary. This figure shows our construction from CAM and SIG. We can see that all queries from A in the security experiment of AKE, including corrupt and review queries, can be handled now. And A cannot distinguish the real session key from a random key in the test query, since CAM is IMD secure. Well, compared with multipass AKE, Two paths AKE inherently open to replay attacks, as shown in this figure. When PI sends a message to PJ, there are only two choices of PJ compute a session key and accept or reject it. If PJ accepts, the message can always be replaced to PJ by the adversary. This replay attack is this replay attack does not contradict the explicit authentication in the security model, since the message does originate from PI and the session key keeps pseudorandom to the adversary. However, it does exhaust the computing and memory resource of PJ and with bandwidth of the network. Therefore, we introduce a strong security model of AKE. In the stronger model, if a replayed message is accepted by some user, the authentication of AK is broken. Meanwhile, we add counters to identify the freshness of messages, as shown in this figure. Each party maintains a local counter. Initiator PI increases its counter CTRI before it sends a message to PJ. Responder PJ recognizes the freshness of message by checking whether CTRI is greater than CTRJ. To respond freshness to respond fresh message, PI will synchronize its counter CTRJ equal to CTRI and send response message back. PI then checks whether CTRI equals to CTRJ. 
In this way, any replace attacks can be detected immediately in our two paths, aka This is our general construction equipped with counters. The counter method is highlighted with gray parts. By the way, our scheme also provides perfect forward security and KCI resistance. Next, we show how our we show how our our two instantiations of AK in the random Oracle model and standard model respectively. AKE in the random Oracle model. The first proposal of CAM in the random Oracle model is PKs G2X1, G2X2, C is G2Y, and case H, PK, C, G2X1, Y, G2X2Y. It's derived from twin L gamma public key encryption and, and is ND MCPA. Review security is based on the twin DH assumption, which in turn on the CDH assumption. We provide tight security via the random self reducibility of DH problem, and provide security against the review queries via the decisional oracle of twin DH. The SIG is mediated with SIG DDH by Justin and Jagger. And as a result, we obtain the first two pass AKE scheme with explicit authentication and tight security in the random Oracle model. AKE in the standard model. The second proposal of CAM in the standard model is CAM MDDH, derived from the tightly IND MCPCA secure public key encryption scheme by Han et al. and its security is based on the MDDH assumption. In this paper, we prove that IND MCCS implies IND MCPA review with tight reduction. The instantiation of SIG is the SIG MDDH by Bedra et al. As a result, we obtain the first two paths AK scheme with explicit authentication and tight security in the standard model. The comparison of our AKE scheme with our with other tightly secure AKE schemes with explicit authentication is shown in this table. You can see that the computation and communication cost is comparable to that in GJ18 or BHJ plus 15 in the random Oracle model and standard model. While the number of passes decreased from three to two. And finally, we construct the first two pass AK schemes with explicit authentication and tight security in both the red Oracle and the standard models. Well, let's draw a conclusion now. Firstly, we present the stronger security model for AKE. In our stronger model, the adversary breaks authentication as long as a party accepts a replayed message. To detect replay attacks, we introduce counters for each party as its state. Secondly, we propose a general construction of two paths AKE from CAM and SIG schemes. We formalize the, a new security notion named IND MCPA review for CAM. And we show that IND MCCA security of CAM implies IND MCPA review security. The stronger security of our two paths AKE can be tightly reduced to the ND MCPA review security of CAM and the MUUFCMA corrupt security of SIG. Finally, we give two instantiations of tightly secure two paths AKEs. We present an instantiation of CAM and proved it's tightly I and the proof is tight ND MCPA review security based on the CDH assumption in the random Oracle model. Together with the SIG DDH scheme, we obtain the first practi practical we obtain the first practical 
two paths, AK steam with explicit authentication and tight security from the DDH assumption in the RAND Merkle model. When it's ideating CAM with CAM MDDH and SIG with SIG MDDH, we obtain the first two paths AK scheme with tight security based on the MDDH assumption in the standard model. Well, that's all for my presentation. Thank you very much.